Hey, everybody. I miss everyone. I haven't painted in like a week. <laughs> I had my festivals and I was so busy, um, but I'm so glad to be back. Um, I'm sure you guys had a lot of other great artists to watch while I was doing my thing. So I wanted to first say thank you so much to these people. These were my supporters for February and March through my PayPal. And I have sent out everybody either a print or an original matted piece of artwork. Um, so thank you guys so, so much. It means so much to me. You guys help me make my videos. Um, so I have already my list. If, if you're like, hey, wait a minute, I'm not on there. Um, I'm starting another one for uh, April and May. So I'll post that one. But thank you guys. So... My next bit of business is, congratulations, Michelle, you're the winner. So Michelle gets this painting right here. I've shown it multiple times. It's already varnished, ready to go. Yay, this was my first colander pour. First or second, I think. So, yay, Michelle, you get this. All right, I want to show you a couple of things. So this is, let me move that out of the way. That is my, y'all, my camera broke. So I have like this, I've rigged my camera. So I can't even really see if you what you guys are seeing very well. But this was my one with Renska. And um, let me see if you can see how that dried. It dried really, really nice. My tripod's in the way. Look at that detail right in there. Oh my gosh. Dried just perfect, literally. So um, I think I'm gonna send this to her and we're gonna do a charity auction with it. Um, I have a couple other waves that I did. This one's been varnished. And that's using that house paint semi-gloss interior that creates those little cells. There's no silicone in these, people have been asking. There's another one. This was a practice one for my one that I just did. I love this one too. This was one I did off camera. You guys never saw this one, but it was just a fun little pour with leftover paints. It's got some metallic right in there. You can kind of see it right there. And this one I love. I haven't varnished it yet, but that gold in there, phew. And those are my cells. No silicone. It's just density pour cells. All right, there we go. I feel like I haven't done this in so long. I feel like I don't know how to talk to you guys. Jeez. So, I have a couple more things to say before I get started. I am going to do a pour tonight. Um, so, I'll have a video about my art festival soon. I'm going to have a meet the artist. So, tonight, if you guys want to leave a comment of a question that you would like to ask me, um or like for me to uh, talk about on camera. Um, you can ask me underneath the video or you can save it. I, I don't know if I'll do the Meet the Artist live or video record it, so um, I'll let you know. I have two more collaborations coming up. Um, I'm doing a little something with Heather Mater and something with Mixed Media Girl, so those will be coming up soon. Thank you for all the comments in the community tab. Um, I really appreciate all of those. And so tonight I'll be doing a black negative space swipe. I'm gonna be combining a couple of y'all's uh, comments together for what you wanted to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my table covered and get started and I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. Okay guys, I knew I said, I know I said that I was gonna do a black negative space swipe, but I think I'm gonna do a black negative space uh, blow dryer touch pour technique. Where, where am I at here? Can't see around that thing I have holding my 
So that's my consistency. I had some leftover. Just run straight off the stick and you can see just drips right back into the cup. Doesn't really leave any too much of a trace on top. It's pretty thin. I used this little thing to strain out. So that was some old paint that I had that had a couple lumps in it because some of it had dried. And I reconstituted it with water and strained it out and it's good to go. So let me get started with the black base. So that's just regular black that I've got there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is my black with Floetrol mixture. Got a little bit of gloss median in there. Um, so somebody, so I had my first class. That was the first thing to tell you guys about. Um, and it was amazing. Super excited. People are picking up their canvases today. Um, so my next class will be in May. The studio was gracious enough to say that they would let me come back. So I'm super excited about that. And um, so that was one thing that I was like super duper excited about. Went really well. Everybody was super supportive. So that was great. And so somebody um, contacted me about, I'm sorry, I'm kind of talkative tonight. I missed you guys. <laughs> Um, somebody had contacted me about the little stands that I use, which are sprinkler helmets that I get from Home Depot. But I, apparently in New York, I guess they're outlawed, so you can't buy them there. Um, some people couldn't find the colander that I use, and I'll have some more colander pours coming up soon. Um, but the colander is from Walmart, and some people can't get that either, so... Um, I'm thinking, I asked the people at the post office if I could send liquid. So I was thinking about for my next giveaway, sending some sprinkler helmets and sending a colander and, um, and maybe some gloss medium and varnish that I use as like a little package. So that may be my next giveaway. You guys let me know if you like that idea instead of a painting, giving some goodies away to help you pour. Okay, so I was gonna do a negative space, but I'm gonna do this instead. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of copper down below. This is a aqua color that I made. I'm gonna have white. Put a little bit more copper. A little bit more blue. A little bit more white and then a little bit of black around. I'm actually going to do black on this side and white on this side. So like kind of splitting it up. Let's see what happens, right? This is always how I do my art. Okay, here comes the blowtorch. No, I'm just kidding. Here comes the hair dryer. this off. My blow dryer didn't really blow too much away. Oh my gosh, that copper is so pretty. I'm actually going to copper this out right there in the middle. My aqua is a little bit thinner than all my other colors, I can tell. So that's why these were a little bit thicker. They didn't blow all the way off the canvas.
like that a little bit better. Been out of the game for a week, guys. I gotta get my groove back. I really like those lines up there. I think I'm liking that a little bit better. Ooh, I've got some popping through here. When you blow from just one direction, you know, you gotta get back on the other side and blow from the other side, I feel like. So I may be in your way for a second, but I'm gonna from this way. Or actually, let's be smart, huh? Let's just turn the canvas. I think I will. guys. Okay, I like that much better. Yep, so I got a little bit of negative space on either side. Tons of cells that popped up through here. I'm liking that. I just really want that as negative space right there. So throughout this week, I'm gonna do a couple of swipes. I just didn't feel like using silicone tonight. So I just wanted to do a pour without it. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of different swipes and um, I have like an entire list of things. So you guys stay tuned. I'm just popping air bubbles because my cells populated already from If you guys can see what I see. Okay. Oh, sorry, it was such a long video, you guys. 14 minutes, yikes. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see those copper cells very well. Those right there, and they're so pretty. So that's that semi-gloss house paint reacting that way. There's no silicone in this. I like the little bit of black negative space that's there. I maybe would have wanted a little more up in here. But anyway, there she is. 
You guys let me know if you like it. Jury's still out for me. I love the cells though. I think I do like it. I think I do. Maybe a little bit more black space or negative space. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I've missed you. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Congratulations to the winner, Michelle. Thank you guys for supporting me. Hit the bell. I've got a lot of ideas and a lot of videos coming up, so don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. Bye. Happy painting.